A combination of hard and soft walls usually gives the best sound quality. Sound quality? Now what's that? Well, quality. It's one of the three characteristics of sound. We've already mentioned the other two. Know what they are? Well, let's see. Quality is one of... He said something about frequency. Is that one? That's almost it. But let's call it pitch, which depends mainly on frequency. What about how loud it is? Right. Loudness, pitch, and quality. I can show you all three. Show me a sound? Sure. By turning on the oscilloscope, it draws a picture of sound. Uh, be careful, Jimmy. It glues my radio club. Now watch. This is a picture of my voice as I talk, Jimmy. Can I see my voice? Hey, there it is. Now, about these characteristics of sound, we'll start with loudness. Shallow waves for a soft note, and high waves for a loud note. Now, what do you suppose shows the pitch? The number of waves does change the pitch. We call the number of waves each second frequency, and the length of the wave changes too. Short waves for a high note, long waves for a low note. Now, you can hear two sounds at the same loudness and pitch, and still they sound different. And that's where quality comes in? Right. Try singing with five vowels on the same note. Yes, the quality of the sound determines the shape of the wave. We can have two sounds at the same loudness and pitch, and still they're very different. And that's that. That's that. But it's not all by any means. There's a whole lot more to know about sound if you really want to go into the subject. But remember those three characteristics. And remember that all sound is vibration. It won't travel through a vacuum, but it does travel through air at the speed of about 1,100 feet a second. It travels even better through solids and through water. It travels in waves of compressions and expansions. With those points in mind, Jenny, you can go on with a thorough study of the nature of sound. That's for me, the nature of sound.